God, Family, and Guns exists to be a light in a very dark world. If you want to support those efforts, consider being a patron. That link is below. Just announced on January 13th, strangely the first day of SHOT Show, the ATF announces a new rule that stabilizing braces now convert your pistol into an SBR, but the, the consequences are way more complicated than this, and it, and it gets a lot deeper than this. What this is, is this is the beginning of the National Gun Registry, because what's going on here Millions and millions of Americans went out and chose some sort of firearm with a stabilizing brace. Now, what they're telling you is that you have a few options. Uh, one, you got 120 days to comply according to the DOJ. So the ATF made the rule, not a law, a rule, and the Department of Justice has said you have 120 days to comply to the ATF's new rule. Now here's what you can do. Here's what comply means. You can register your guns in the National Gun Registry. Or you could remove and destroy the brace. Or you could remove the barrel and replace it with a 16 inch barrel. Or you could surrender your gun to the ATF. Or finally you could destroy your gun. Now again the DOJ says you have 120 days to comply with this new rule. And according to the ATF, in quotes, this rule is effective the date it is published in the Federal Registry. And ultimately, that, that's going to happen here in the next few days. For sure, by the end of the week, next week, it'll be in the Federal Registry. Um, and at that moment, you are, uh, you're, you're a federal criminal. You're, you're, a, you're a felon, uh, is what you are. And you have 120 days to comply. Uh, this is how it all begins, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is, well, it began a long time ago, but this is where it becomes way more obvious than it was. It kind of creeps up on you and creeps up on you. They take a little more, they take a little more, they take a little more, and now, boom, here we are, right here. Because now, according to the ATF, they can make up any rule. And the DOJ is going to say you have 120 days to comply, regardless of that rule is, and there's a lot more rules coming. But let's look at this one. Um, also, any surface area that allows you to put it up to your shoulder. Uh, so what is that? Like, uh, you know, is that the end of the buffer tube? That's a surface area. Uh, what if I have a little, little foam pad over it? Is that a surface area? I think the answer to that is quite possibly yes. Um, any rifle optics uh, that you put on it. So if you put rifle style optics on it, now it is also considered an SBR. So it's not just about that stabilizing brace, it's also about the optics that you're using. And this is a very confusing thing. And again, you got 120 days to comply. <laughs> so if, you know, and chances are you're watching this because you're in the gun community, you're in the pro-Second Amendment community, but millions of Americans who bought these guns probably have no idea what's happening with this stabilizing brace. Um, now, I also want to remind you that the stabilizing brace and, and everything about these pistols have was approved by the ATF so everybody went out and bought them because they said it was okay so now what they're asking is for millions of Americans to essentially go into a de facto gun registry um, and those who are not um, they are not within the rule of law uh, the government is not on your side this is something you have to fully understand I don't care who's in that office they're not a lot of these laws were passed you know <laughs> former presidents ago uh, that we're dealing with now. So don't act like, you know, this guy is going to save our guns. That guy is going to take our guns. No, they're all, they're all trying to take your guns. Well, why? Because the Second Amendment was written to protect you from the government. Uh, that's what it was written for. It's not written so you can go hunting. It's not written so you can get, you know, join some sports and that kind of thing. No, it is so you can protect yourself from the government. Meanwhile, the government is arming themselves unlike anything we've ever seen since the beginning of the United States. Uh, so what do we do? Contact your representatives. This is not okay. There's all sorts of people filing lawsuits. Hopefully this will make it to the Supreme Court. But as of now, you have 120 days <laughs> to comply according to the Department of Justice. Reach out quickly. Let your representatives know that it's not okay.
Uh, any thoughts or insight on any of that, definitely put that below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel through Patreon. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns.